Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to hop on here and share you some share with you some things. I always mess that up. That I made recently, and I didn't use patterns for neither of these, but uh, there is a pattern for one of them out. You know, multiple patterns. <laughs> but this is some more things that I've been making for. Um, let me think about it for a minute. <laughs> Random Acts of Crochet Kindness, which is a Facebook group on Facebook, where they share patterns and stuff for you to make little things to put in bags and leave out in the world for people to find and to promote happiness, which is great, I think. So I've been one to, I've been working on slowly making a little hoard <laughs> of things. And I've showed you guys flowers and suns um, and the Lucky Pennies. And uh, then I wanted to make some worry worms because I know they're super popular. So I just, I didn't follow a pattern. I, I could try to tell what they were, you know, just by looking at them. They're basically curly cues with a circle at the end. So I did make three of those. I put the little eyeballs on them yesterday. Little googly eyes. <laughs> but I made three in pink. This yarn is, um, it's Joanne's, what's it called? Big Twist. Is that right? Uh, I think it's watermelon. I like the noise of that. <laughs> but anyway, so I made three little worry worms just because it is a pink color. It kind of looks orangey, but it might be my lighting. And these are just googly eyes from the Dollar Tree. I hot glued them on there. And on the ones with eyes or the little sunglasses, um, I'm going to put a warning about choking. On the paper which i'll show you in just a second uh so here's a little more worms for these ones i chained i think 35 or 25 <laughs> and i did three single chain each one all the way down to the last one and then i did uh 12 double crochet and then slip stitched it and then i just hot glued the little eyes on there what with my ends so those are my little worm worms <laughs> i love that noise and then this other one there was not a pattern as well. Well, there are worry worm patterns. I just didn't follow one. But this one, there wasn't a pattern. The, a woman on that Facebook group shared that she had made some of these. And she just um, made them up. You know, the pattern up. And uh, I saved the picture of the bears that she made. But I didn't screenshot it. I should have screenshotted it so I could get her name. I went back over this morning trying to find it. And there's so many posts in there. It's hard to find anything. So I might go back later and try to find it again. But she made these really cute little bears. They're like flat bears. And uh, so I was like, I want to recreate that. So I did. <laughs> and uh, this is a completely no sew pattern other than your last in that you have to weave in. Uh, and I'm thinking about maybe making a tutorial video about for this eventually if I can get the chance to. Because I didn't, you know, like I said, she didn't post a pattern. So I didn't follow a pattern. I just followed her image, you know, and got inspiration from that. So here's my little bear. <laughs> I made two little like panels. And then when I crocheted them together is when I did all the arms and legs and the ears and then I did use some of those Amazon um, sunglasses and I stitched on a nose <laughs> I think it's pretty cute same yarn I made them all at the same time and uh yeah I like a lot I, I wrote down how I did this the worry worm's basic so <laughs> but yeah so that's just some little things I'm making to try to promote happiness in the world and then I did mention that I'm gonna make some graphics to uh, print out and add with them this is for the lucky pennies that I made which I don't have with me they're where did I put them? They're somewhere. <laughs> I'll find them. Um, so I just, I went on to Canva, which has free, you know, you can pay for it or it's also free. And I just made the little, a little graphic. <laughs> um, and just says Lucky Penny. And then I used the blessing or the whatever <laughs> quote. Uh, may your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow and may trouble avoid you wherever you go is the front side. And I put eight of them on one piece of paper. And then on the back, I'm also in Canva, I made this. And I put a YouTube symbol and an Instagram symbol and my name, no catch name. And then I put a Facebook symbol and the Random Acts Crochet Kindness and also put for them to share a photo if they want to. Did I spell that right? Yeah, okay. And then down here, I did put like in red, a warning, not recommended for children under four or children who chew on things because things like this they're hot glued on there but if a kid is really nubbing away at it it will they could pop off and get choked on so any of the uh the ones that have anything like that i'm gonna put that on there um this is just the lucky penny one i also made another one i just haven't printed it yet of like a generic one like the you know i think the quote's like um i'm not lost i'm just alone if i made you smile please take me home and it's got like rainbows and stuff it's just pretty <laughs> i just printed this last night and um I canceled my Microsoft Office subscription because I wasn't using it. And, I, you know, I didn't want to keep paying $11 a month for something I'm not really using. 
and then go figure as soon as I cancel it I need it because I need this to print on both sides which my printer does but I cannot print it on both sides as a photo it won't give me the option on my phone or my computer I need to put the two together like on a PDF and then I can put both side print and then it'll print and that's frustrating because <laughs> I was like I just canceled that so I do I do print one side and then I just go to my printer manually and flip the page over stick it back in there and it prints it on the other side uh, which is fine. You know, it's how I used to do it before I got a fancier printer. But, so this is the one, the Lucky Penny one, which I will eventually have available. <laughs> Probably through email. If you want it, I can email it to you. And I can go back and edit this one in Canva, take off my name and stuff. Uh, and email it to you as well so you can print it too. And then I will do the same thing with the the, ran the regular one. <laughs> they like uh, everything else, like the sun and the flower and all that. But, uh, yeah, I just want to hop on here real quick and share that with you. I will link the Facebook group down below if you want to check them out and see all the cute patterns. There's also a file section on that Facebook group that has a ton of these things like this that other people's made available to print. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because June just came up and <laughs> she's whining. So uh, let me know if you think I should make a little tutorial for this eventually. It's really cute and quick. And uh, I guess I could do a worry warm one, but there's like 50 million of them on YouTube. <laughs> so, I mean, mine would be no different than anybody else's. But uh, this is a little bit more unique because I've not seen this until that one day that woman shared it. And I wish I had taken a screenshot so I know what her name is. But uh, it's still super cute. But I will leave the Facebook group link below and I'll also leave these little um, sunglasses. I have since seen people use ones with heart-shaped lenses and I want those now. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here, go create some things to make the world a better place. And give them out for free and make people happy because it's a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.